but it's not to say that it's not in history. So that's, that's one key thing. Going back to our question, why is this genealogy here and what does this genealogy tell us? In the baptism of Jesus Christ, God the Father says, you are my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. So the, it says, it calls that he is, Jesus is the son of God. And then all of a sudden, it goes through this genealogy. And the reason for the genealogy, what is weird, interesting about this genealogy is that it doesn't end in Abraham. Where does this genealogy end? It ends with son of Adam, son of God. And the reason being is that Jesus is not only connected in humanity to Abraham. He's connected all the way to Adam. So anyone who is human is connected to Jesus because he is then the son of man, son of man and son of God. And so we see this connection that he's both fully God and fully human right in the start of the gospel of Luke prior to Jesus starting his ministry. So that when you go to chapter four and chapter five, you don't read it as who is this Jesus? You already know Jesus is God. He is the son of God. And, but he's no different than me because he is also a son of Adam. 